Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at the binomial probability distribution. This is a very well-known uh, discrete probability distribution. Uh, there's two parameters. Uh, there is the sample size, or the number of trials, and in as far as R is concerned, it's called size, okay, but it's also called N. So also that size and the prob are what R would recognize, but it would be also um, N and P, okay? But I'm going to stick with size and prob, okay? So let's just say for argument's sake that uh, size is 20 and probability is 10%, okay? So just to sort of stick with that, size equals 10 or 20 and prob equals 0 0.05, okay? So what we're maybe interested in is the probability of uh, x equals, let's say, 5. Okay, That means the number of successes, the probability that the number of successes will be equal to 5. Here x means the number of successes. So the command we use there is called dbinome. Okay? And 5... And we set size equal to 20 and prob equal to not point not 0.05. Okay, so that's our answer there. And uh, that is for four significant digits. That's just the way I have R set up. So 0 0.00245. To okay, let's try it for six. There we go. And let's try it for four. Okay. Oh, so the, the probability seems to get less, uh, fewer, the smaller and smaller. But we, uh, this is actually something that's quite cool. Suppose we want to get a range of values here. Okay. Let's just say, for argument's sake, two to seven. I can actually put in a range like that. Okay. And now, again, it's, uh, it might not be too helpful there. Might just sort of dial it down there a bit. Okay, so the there is just actually the, the the point there is that you can actually get a range of probabilities, and you can sum them up. This is a, a command or a, a package that I really like. I'm just going slightly off topic here. Okay, but what I w might want to do here is use the pipe operator. Okay, so just do uh, that there again and sum them up. Uh, so that's the probability of being of two successes between two successes and five successes, okay? Or in other words, probability of two less than or equal to x less than or equal to five, okay? So, um, yeah, that is, so that's that's quite useful, um, so. Uh, this is something actually. So this is that's the, uh, the that's just the probability uh, mass function, okay? That is what uh, d binome corresponds to. But there's also the cumulative density function, okay? So this is equivalent to let's say the probability of x less than or equal to k. Let's just stick with k for the time being. K is just some integer, okay? How do we do that? Uh, the command here is p binome, okay? So less than or equal to 5, uh, size is equal to 20, uh, prob is equal to 0 0.05, there we go, 99%. Now, suppose we're interested in probability of x greater than or equal to k, okay? So this is one you have to be a little bit careful with. Okay, there's an additional argument called up, uh, lower equals false. Okay. Now, this is one to be a little bit extra careful with. That actually means that is actually like the, the probability of x greater than or equal to k. But it actually means the probability of x greater than or equal to um, 6 in that particular instance, okay? It excludes 5. It excludes 0 to 5 as 
<coughs> for the values okay so uh, from the the calculation the, the the range of values that it's calculating the uh, distribution for okay that's just very important to note now um so how would you get that let's just say you're interested in the probability of x greater than or equal to five I suppose that is specifically your question well then you just have to be a little bit smart and just get ask for four so just start with five and excluding four now, sorry, just actually there is the quantile command or the inverse cumulative distribution function, okay? So now the thing about that is the inverse cumulative uh, distribution, it, they're not particularly useful for discrete random variables, but just in case you get asked it, not 0.95 or nine, or uh, let's get, yeah, get the mean, median, okay? Uh, this would be size equal 20, prob equals 0.05, okay, so it'll be uh, 1, okay. Um, so that, it, yeah, they're, they're just not, they're not really that useful, to be honest with you, okay. Or they, they're, yeah, they're not useful, really, just can't say, I can't wrap it up any other way. Now, finally, the last one, and one of my favorites, is the random numbers. Okay, the random values. So, let's just pick out um, 10. Uh, this is a randomly generated number of successes where the size is 20. and uh, the of, uh, So, for example, this randomly generates, uh, simulates, for example, uh, the number of successes when the size is 20 and the probability of a success is not 0.05. So let's just uh, dial that up a bit, actually. Let's make it 0.15. Okay, a little bit different there. Let's try it again. Okay, you get the idea. It just randomly generates them. Now, if you're not familiar with this command, it's slightly off topic again, but that's the best thing about this, is that you can actually set the seed so that the random numbers are uh, reproducible, okay? So set seed is a very interesting command. It's a little bit off topic as far as I'm concerned here, but well worth looking at, okay? So that's just a quick rundown of the bino uh, binomial distribution with R. So we'll leave it there.